Welcome to Daegu, South Korea, South Korea's third largest city. This vibrant metropolis is a feast for the senses, boasting incredible attractions and delicious cuisine. Daegu is also the hometown of a member of the world-famous K-pop group, BTS. And today, we're exploring the delicious foods of Daegu while stopping at a few memorable places along the way. From local markets to spicy beef ribs, Daegu has something to suit everyone's taste. But first, coffee. Start your day at what has to be one of the world's most beautiful Starbucks. So this is a newly built Starbucks, but it is built in an old school Korean Hanok, which is an old house. So this was originally built in the year 1919, and this Starbucks is renovated into three different parts. So the area behind me is commercialized Starbucks that you'd expect, but they've kept a lot of the interior and the same uh, architecture from the 1900s in there. And then on the other side behind me, this is like the actual house. And so you can go in and sit on the floor and have your cup of coffee or cake or tea or whatever on the floor, which is heated. It's super cool. You gotta take your shoes off before you enter. It's really crowded in there. Everybody wants to have that traditional experience. I don't blame them. Where else can you get a Starbucks like this? Make sure you grab your coffee ice americano for me. And enjoy the start of your day here in Daegu. So So Moon Market is the biggest market in Daegu, I believe. But what's so cool about it is it's actually both a nighttime and a daytime market. So there are some unique foods that are kind of special to this. You can tell by the people waiting in line that those are the best vendors. Those are the ones that you should check out. All right, so the first thing I had to try, I cannot pass this place up. So this is a place selling fresh mandu. Mandu are the Korean dumplings. They were making everything by hand. There's a machine here where they're actually rolling the skin out, doing everything. It looked incredible, it smelled so good. I had to stop by. So there's different types. I went for gate nib, which is a prillo leaf, and they fried them up. You get five pieces for 5,000 won. Look at that. It's gonna be incredible. Oh, it smells amazing. Mmm. This is stuffed with pork, gate nib, that prillo leaf, garlic. Oh, that is incredible. I've never met a mandu that I don't like. I'm gonna tell you, this place is amazing. Oh my goodness, those mandu were so great. I had to get another order to go to take back to the hotel with me to eat for dinner tonight. I would highly recommend that place. Do know that they do take cash only, which is kind of par for the course when you come to a lot of these traditional markets. So cash is king or queen whenever you come to these places. So always carry cash. Most places in Korea, they gladly accept cards but at these traditional places, it's always best to have cash in your pocket just in case they don't take hard. All right, so one of the other famous foods it looks like is in this market is this. This is actually called Sujae B. I think what's really famous here is Kaguksu, which is these knife cut noodles. However, this is Sujae B, which is uh, torn noodles. So they take the dough and tear it by hand make this broth. Apparently the broth is different here in Daegu than it is in different parts of the city. It smells very sesame-y. So it's a very clean broth. I believe they use anchovies in it. But you can see these are all torn by hand right here to order. As you, as you order it, they tear it right here and then boil it and serve it up. So the taste is going to be incredible, I'm sure. Well, let's check that out. Ooh. That is different. I eat a lot of Suje B in Seoul. It's one of my favorite kind of lunch snacks. So the atmosphere here is not very, uh, this isn't fine dining at all. You're not paying for the atmosphere. You're sitting on a bench, there's a heater right here. It is cold, it is noisy, there are motorbikes going around. However, that just adds to the joy of eating at a Korean traditional market. Yum. So one of the most famous people to come out of Daegu is this gentleman. So this is Kim Gwang-suk. And he was a folk singer here in Korea, born in Daegu. 
Think of him as like the Korean John Denver or Bob Dylan. So he was really popular in the 80s and 90s, had a really tragic death, but he is really celebrated here. So much so, in fact, there's a whole street devoted to nothing but his murals and music and artifacts all about him. And so people come here at all times of the day or night. I heard it's especially beautiful at night times. You get to hear a lot of busking and people singing his songs. There's even a whole festival in the fall time to celebrate him. So you may not be familiar with his name, but if you know anything about Korean music, you've probably heard some of his songs. And if you haven't, if you walk down the street, you'll definitely hear them because they are playing nonstop in the background. All right, so I am about to try one of the other specialty foods here in the city of Daegu. So this is Daegu Jim Galbi. So Jim Galbi is actually the beef rib that is steamed and it uh, what makes it so special is that unlike other parts of the country where the the beef is sweet, this is in a a hot sauce of garlic and dried chili peppers and you get this amazing meat that is just falling off the bone here it's served in this aluminum bowl here guys my mouth is watering this smells is so incredibly good just the the smell of garlic and chili peppers is just oh intoxicating so this is so famous here in daegu there's actually a street that serves this and all the restaurants here serve it because it was actually invented here back in the 1970s you can order two different portions. So if you come to Daegu and you want to order this, do know there's two different prices. You can go for a domestic beef and it costs more, or you can get like the Australian or the American beef, which is imported, and that is cheaper. Oh, so the best way to enjoy this, take a lettuce wrap. You're going to take a piece of this meat here, another slice of garlic. You're going to add some of this bean paste, this ding jong here, and just enjoy. Mm. So if you're traveling through Korea and you want to eat at a place that serves like barbecue or traditional foods like this, normally they are all for at least couples, right? At least more than one person. So a few tips to help you so you don't get turned away is to always be ready to order for at least two portions which isn't that big of a deal because normally when you go to eat sungip sol or something you kind of order like three portions for two people anyways you usually just order one portion for each person because they're kind of small so always be ready to pay for at least two so that way that they, they can make their money back all these side dishes and everything cost money whether they serve you one person or two and all the side dishes are refillable. So we already do that and I'll start to come on an off time. So I've come at about 3.30, so it's after lunch time, but before dinner time. So I knew they wouldn't be very busy. So they're more likely to accept me to come in. And that is why I get to enjoy this amazing galbi as a solo diner. Mmm.